Our next story is about the Ukraine war. We've seen a lot of escalations over the past two weeks. Ukraine started bombing Russian territory with Western weapons. Russia responded by launching a new missile, a ballistic missile called the Arishnik. This missile strike took Ukraine by surprise. It had no defense against the Arishnik. So the West is now scrambling to protect Ukraine. U.S. President Joe Biden is sending more aid, a $725 million arms package. But that won't worry Putin. He's confident about his new weapon. He says there is no answer to the Arishnik missile. At the same time, he has drawn one clear red line. If the country with which we are currently engaged in military operations becomes a nuclear power, what should we do? In this case, we will use everything. I want to emphasize this. All the means of destruction at Russia's disposal. We will not allow this. That was a stark warning to the West. If they give Ukraine nuclear weapons, Russia will obliterate the country. But why did Putin make this threat? Is the West really giving nukes to Ukraine? A report to this effect has been doing the rounds. It came out last Thursday, the day when Russia launched its first Arishnik missile. This report sent alarm bells ringing in Moscow. Let me read the operative part. It says several officials even suggested that Mr. Biden could return nuclear weapons to Ukraine that were taken from it after the fall of the Soviet Union. That would be an instant and enormous deterrent. Apparently, some Western officials have come up with a dumb idea. Giving Ukraine its nuclear weapons back. Some quick context. Ukraine used to be a nuclear-armed nation. Up until 1996, Ukraine was once a part of the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union disintegrated in 1991. Its nuclear weapons were given to four successor states. Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan and Ukraine. So yes, Ukraine was once a nuclear-armed nation. We don't know exactly how many nukes they had. Estimates range from 1,900 to 5,000 nuclear weapons. Now let's just take the lower estimate, 1,900. And also look at the nuclear armed countries in the world today and the estimated number of nukes that they have. The US and Russia obviously on top with more than 5,500 each. Then comes China with 500, France has 290, the UK has 225, India 172, Pakistan 170 and so on. What do you notice here? Ukraine was believed to have had 1,900 nukes some 30 years ago. And that was a lower estimate. But that's still more than almost everyone today, barring the US and Russia. In fact, Ukraine had more nukes than most other countries put together. It had the world's third largest nuclear arsenal, but the country chose to give them all up. So did Belarus and Kazakhstan. All of them gave their nukes to Russia in exchange for security guarantees. This was part of a deal known as the Budapest Memorandum. It was signed in 1994. That's when Ukraine's denuclearization began. Now, fast forward 30 years, and what do we see? The West is talking about giving Ukraine its nukes back. And just to be clear, this is according to one report that said it was anonymous Western officials who suggested this. They made the suggestion to President Joe Biden. There is no indication that Biden will listen to them. He should definitely know better. But in case he's getting any ideas, Putin made sure to shut them down with his warning yesterday. Putin has threatened to use nukes before in this war. We keep hearing about it every few months, but this time it is different. If Ukraine gets even one nuclear weapon, then Russia loses its edge. It puts Russia in an existential crisis because you don't need thousands of nukes to level a city like Moscow. One will do. And that is why Vladimir Putin will never allow Ukraine to get a nuclear weapon again.